Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we're starting a new series called 5 Minute Tutorials. This is going to be a series where I teach you guys how to make things in 5 minutes or less and you'll learn new blender techniques and practices that you can um, use to improve your abilities. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a cloud. Now a lot of you guys create clouds using spheres, you just kind of do this or whatever and uh, shape it around and it honestly doesn't look too bad but I have another technique that makes them look a lot more uniform and um, better so what we're going to do is delete that and we're going to use meta balls. So meta balls are very interesting because whenever you have two meta balls next to each other they connect, they kind of merge, um, and it creates one uniform shape versus the other spheres which don't look as uniformed. Um, they're really fun to play around with and they're quite simple to use, so I'm going to show you guys how I would create a cloud with them. So first thing we're going to do is start out with one big meta ball, and we're going to scale it down on the z-axis just for a flatter look, something like that's good. I'm going to add another meta ball and we're going to create um, a second um, part of the cloud just like a another part of it like you'd see in the sky a bright um, on a bright day <laughs> um, so we got something like that not looking too bad I'm gonna scale it in a little bit more and what I like to do is create kind of an egg shape like this so on the y-axis I have two and the x-axis I have two and it creates kind of a uniformed look. And how you um, hold and handle these meta balls is by selecting these outer rings. Um, they're a little awkward to use at first, but they're quite fun to use. So next I'm going to duplicate them all, rotate them a little bit, and you can kind of just play around with them however you want, create whatever cloud shape you were aiming for. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate using my cloud um, and just add some more like funky looks to it and play around with shapes and sizes just like this and th these are nice because they can be used for almost anything um, you could use them for trees bushes stuff like that um, and it just creates a more organic looking shape than something uh, using spheres would offer you so I'm just going to Duplicate this, rotate it, and move it over here. You can see our clouds looking a lot more organic and natural and um, more like something you'd see in the sky. I'm kind of liking this shape. Whenever you're done, all you have to do is select it. So A to select everything. We're going to go to Object, Convert to Mesh. So now it's all just one unified mesh versus spheres that would be one unified mesh but a bunch of different individual objects. So a lot of people, when they have low poly objects, they like flat shading. And what I mean by that is you can, you're able to see every individual face. So like here I see a triangle, stuff like that. And this is good, but in this case, the topology is just a little whack. Like we've got some unified bits here and here, but then we got some triangles throughout here. So what we're going to do to clean that up a little bit is use the decimate modifier. Not only does it create um, kind of a randomized look, it also reduces the poly count um, and it also creates triangular faces just like this. So you can kind of decimate it however much you want, if you want to, of course, and create that low poly look that you'd see on the cloud. Next, we're just going to apply it and we're ready to import into Blender. <laughs> Ignore my test one earlier. So we're going to right click, insert object, and we have the mesh right here selected. Next, we're going to right click this in Blender, go to File, Export, Wavefront or .obj and just name it Cloud. And back into studio, we're just going to pop open the mesh and the properties panel under mesh ID. Just click that file and it'll import. You guys can play around with it more. I challenge you all to create a cloudy scene um, and tag me in it on Twitter. You can duplicate these a lot of times. Um, but that's how you create a cloud in less than three minutes. Um, 
just want to make one quick note before this is over there's no right or wrong way to do it i just wanted to illustrate meta balls and how awesome they are if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time